With music as our muse and cannabis as our medium, Coda Signature creates cannabis-infused products full of inspiration and imagination. Each product tells a story through exciting colors, bold flavors, and luxurious aromas that harmonize seamlessly and with impeccable craftsmanship and quality ingredients. Coda Signature elevates the experience of cannabis the same way music elevates life. From Bumminit Media, it's the MJ Bulls Podcast, a show about raising cannabis capital. I'm Dan Hummiston, and on today's show, how Mark Grindelin's passionate team made Coda Signature the number one infused chocolate brand in Colorado, and how investors can join their expansion into California. Today we're in the Coda Signatures offices in Denver, Colorado with Mark Grindelin. Hey Mark, thanks for having us. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about Coda Signature and your expanding product line and your expansion into California. But before we dive into all that, let's talk a little bit about you. You've had an amazing career. Can you give us the the short version and why you got into cannabis? I had never imagined that I would be in this industry. In terms of background, It's been a fairly eclectic background. This is my fifth startup, but I've also worked in very large public companies in either a CEO position, CMO, mostly been C-suite. I spent many years as a management consultant. And so I've worked in multiple industries. It's been pretty eclectic, but again, you know, never thought I would be running. How did you uh, get here? How did you get here? Well, it was really uh, serendipitous. I met my co-founder and business partner in the summer of 2014. Elizabeth was one of the early pioneers in this industry. She was one of the early dispensary owners in the in the medical market. Recreational wasn't there yet. Essentially, over that time when she had the dispensary, what she realized was she could do better on the real estate side of it. So she sold her licenses and got out of sort of the day-to-day grind of running a dispensary. When we met in the summer of 2014, Recreational was just starting to roll out in Colorado and Elizabeth was really wanting to get back into the market because she felt like it was ready to just explode in terms of size. But she recognized that she was not CEO material and she was looking for a business partner who had the kind of background I have. When I started to do my due diligence and really research the industry, what I realized at the time was this would be kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. And so essentially after about nine months of due diligence and sort of modeling, I decided I had one more startup in me and we started the company in January of 2015. For our listeners outside of the state of Colorado, Coda Signature is such a recognizable brand here. Can you tell us, you know, how Coda got to where you are and what makes it so unique? You know, when we were building our business plan, I felt like there was this big gap in the market for a premium based product with a high quality brand in Colorado. So essentially our plan at the time was start with infused edibles because we felt like the edibles market was big enough and it was growing fast enough that we could really create a a brand positioning there. So on the edible side, we were introduced to a a young lady in New York by the name of Lauren Cockley. Lauren was a classically trained chocolatier. Uh, She was trained at the Valrhona Chocolate School in Southern France. When she graduated, she moved back to New York City and she worked in some of the best restaurants in the world. She was recognized in 2013 by Dessert Magazine as one of the top 10 chocolatiers in North America. Lauren has really been the key driver in terms of coming up with unique flavors. Uh, We shipped our first products out the door on March 31st of 2016. At the time, we had four SKUs. We had uh, two single-serve hot chocolates and two truffle collections. I think we were in less than 10 dispensaries. When we shipped our product on March 31st, about three weeks later, we won first place in the High Times Cannabis Cup for the best edible in Colorado. 
this year, currently we're at about 540 dispensaries. We're in 62% of the market. According to BDS Analytics, within the chocolate category in Q3 of this year, we became the number one company in Colorado by market share. Today, we'll end the year with about 30 SKUs. This year, again, we'll experience triple digit growth from the previous year. You know, our goal is to be a the top brand on a national basis for infused products. Wow. When I was checking in on the website today, it asked me whether I lived in Colorado or California. And I, I didn't realize that you guys are already full speed ahead in California. We'll, we'll be shipping products in Q1. In a very short period of time, you know, we've really scaled. We're very, very excited about what's going on. And currently we're building our facility in Oakland, California. We expect an early Q1 launch. And after California, we're looking at multiple geographies to expand next. We're very interested in the Nevada market. We've been in conversations with a number of the Canadian companies about entering the Canadian market. I'm very interested in Florida. You know, I'm very interested in the Northeast. Uh, That's a ton of growth. I'm assuming that you're raising capital. So can you be explained to our listeners what you're raising and how investors could take part? We're right in the middle of our Series A round. I expect a closing actually next week or the week after. It'll be a rolling close. So our first tranche of the close will happen the end of this month. We're working with three investment firms and that was also intentional. I wanted to syndicate the round. We're raising a pretty significant round of capital that will support our geographic expansion. Three firms that we're working with. The lead firm is Granite Hall Partners out of Chicago. We're also partnering with Viridian Capital out of New York City and Mazakali out of San Francisco. So we really wanted to have kind of top tier firms representing us uh, because I really look at this uh, through the lens of a long game, not just a single transaction. If anybody is interested in investing, you know, what I would ask them to do is just reach out to me personally and they can reach out to me at my email address, mark with a K at codasignature.com. Well, there's a lot of information and you obviously have a lot going on right now with all this expansion and the opportunities there. It's really going to be exciting. Well, this has been a treat doing our first show on, on location at the Coda Signature facilities. If people... Want to learn more about Coda Signatures or where they can get their products? Uh, it's on their website, codasignature.com, or you can go to the MJ Bulls website. We have all the information there. Mark, thanks for having me. Well, thank you very much. And uh, it was a pleasure. Good luck. Good luck. Thank Good you. Luck. Thanks for listening to the MJ Bulls podcast. To learn more about today's guests or to apply to be a guest, visit our website at mjbulls.com. And if you like our show, give us a review on iTunes. Today's show was produced by Bummin' It Media. I'm Dan Humiston, and you've been listening to the MJ Bulls Podcast. <laughs>